If you want to spend some time with me making some hidden paper clip embellishments, please keep on watching. Hello, it's Barbara from Vienna, Austria. So let me show you what I will be using to make these. I'm just using some very plain regular silver paper clips. Not very big, just like your standard size. Whatever you have on hand will work. Then I'm going to be using as a base some book pages because I have so many because I've been making so many altered books. <laughs> so I need to use up some book pages. So I have this one. I have these which are colored a little bit differently so i think it's nice to combine different shades of book pages if you don't want to use book pages you can also of course just use scrap book paper or any other scraps that you have left then i will be using scraps so i have my two boxes of scraps here this one has just smaller scraps also things like tea bag labels so when I drink black tea, I just, when I take the bag out, I put it in a bowl onto this little label that it has attached. So that way this gets soaked in the tea and then you have a cute little label to use in collages. Some of these are blank on the back side, which is even better. Yeah, so th those are a lot of fun to have. And then I'll show you again how i make these i think these are super fun to have on hand so let me show you that right here so this is my scrap drawer this has mostly neutral type of scraps and i'm just going to take some out i'll probably tear some a little bit and put them into my sewing machine so when I have cutoffs like these, I obviously I'm going to take off the white edge, but I'm going to also have a torn edge because I don't really like the straight edges. So I'm going to take my tearing ruler and just tear both of those longer edges. Also the, the smaller sides I want to tear. And since this is a very long strip, I'm actually going to tear it in half as well and just tear that straight there. I have tearing rulers linked down below for you. Sometimes those tearing rulers are kind of hard to find. So I currently have a black thread in my sewing machine and I'm using my smallest zigzag stitch that I have. That's just my preference. You can do it with another color for thread and another kind of stitch, but this is just what I usually do. So all I do is I just run that stitch along and I don't snip it off at the end. I just keep going strip after strip. And then I'll just find my next strip and I'll just continue like that. For example, I'll just take this one and I'll just put one after the other. And I try having a variety kind of paper. So this is also great for using like some leftover digital scraps. And it's just something that is so super quick to do. And then it is so helpful to have these on hand for collaging. This is a beautiful piece of wallpaper, so that's great as well. And if they are too thin to actually tear or, you know, to use the tearing ruler on, you can always take your scissors and just rough up the edge. And especially then if you ink it up, that will then look nice as well and not so straight. Once you have the variety and the amount that you are happy with, 
all you do is you take your scissors and you snip all of these apart obviously you can also keep them maybe rolled up like this but I, then i think they're kind of hard to access i like to just snip them apart and then just have the individual pieces ready for any type of collaging this might be the most fun part of the whole thing <laughs> i don't know why i just really enjoy this so i have all different kinds of paper thin and thick and printed paper and this is some map paper i have different sizes but as you can see i kind of like sticking to more or less rectangles this is the wallpaper i don't go for any weird shapes this is so satisfying because you really have the feeling you're using your stuff you're not just collecting your scraps well we haven't actually used them yet but at least we've transformed them so that we are probably more likely to use them i think so anyway and i have different lengths here and of course when you have long pieces like this and then you think it's too long it's very easy to just if you like the torn edges to just tear it and then just cut the thread and then you have two pieces so that's great as well so i'm just going to keep snipping these until all of these are separated this here is some like baking paper beautiful sound <laughs> kind of transparent mm. i just wanted to show you even like painted papers like scraps that you don't know what to do with look into what fun scraps they turn into once you just run a stitch through it and if you don't have a sewing machine, you could actually just draw a faux line, I mean, not a faux line, a, a line of faux stitching across your scraps. You could just, you know, do a zigzag or a straight one just with a black marker. I mean, I do like the added texture of the sewing, but I know not everybody has a sewing machine or wants to sew with their machine. So that might be an option for you if you like the look. This was some wrapping paper and I think it's really cute. It has these very soft fibers. Another thing I have is some painted book pages. So these are also really fun. This one I have painted with my Ranger Distress daubers, but obviously you can just do that with the watercolors. Actually, this might be the watercolor. I don't even know. This is watercolor. I know that. And so is this blue. But the yellow one, yeah, I think the yellow one is the wild honey distress dauber. Hmm. <laughs> How fun are these? And then I think I might also use some of these. These are really cool. These are parts of book spines from books I have taken apart we can use pretty much every part of the book if we take them apart so these are really cool cool bits and what these are are when you when you have taken out a you're not your whole book page block then a lot of times they will have this netting here on the spine and then i just try to tear that away and sometimes you're more successful sometimes less successful of course the bigger the pieces that tear off the better usually the headband will come off on its own but this even this part i think is cute to use in a collage and then you just just kind of try to <laughs> either cut or tear it off i think i was using maybe a stanley knife let's just see how far we get just tearing this yeah, so it will it will vary. Sometimes you just get pieces like these, but these are great for collages. Don't throw these away. And every book will be different. Ah, here we have a little big, little bigger piece, <laughs> not much. <laughs> but these are so fun for collaging. They will make your collages extra extra special.
yeah so a lot of times you'll just get tiny pieces but if you're lucky you'll have spines where you get like a whole piece like this now how cool will, will this look in a bigger collage of course i'm hoarding it for now <laughs> yeah so you just gotta play with it and see what happens And as focal points, since I want to have them spring themed, I obviously have some spring themed elements. All of these are from my shop, but obviously if you might have books or something where you can tear out some images, that would work really well. But these are some spring floral clip arts that I will be using. And I will link all of these for you below. These are some vintage birds that I think will work nicely and here I have my what are they called vibrant flying creatures I think they're called so we have some butterflies and some dragonflies and some moths I'm not sure I have any moths left I might have used them already and probably I'll be adding some sentiments as well so if you want to pause the video and uh, get your supplies why don't we do this together? So I don't like straight edges, as I've mentioned. So I'm going to be using my tearing ruler. But if you enjoy straight edges, by all means, cut your pieces instead of tearing them. So I'm just going to take a book page. It's going to be my base. I'm going to use random sizes. I'm not going to do any measuring. All I'm trying to do is get a rectangle. So this seems like a good size for me. I'm going to fold this in half. And this is the base. Very simple. And then we need to add some other pieces on top. So I'll take this and now this one, which I know is gonna go on top, I want to be less long. You'll see why in a moment. And also less wide. <laughs> Fun fact, while I'm filming this, middle of April, we have a snowstorm here right now. My goodness, I'm looking out the window. It was sunny half an hour ago and now it looks like a blizzard. Wow. That is April. <laughs> okay, we have these two and we're gonna fold this one in half as well. I don't think I'll do this this precisely in all of the ones that I'm doing, but let me just show you the concept. So we have this piece and then we add our paper clip and then we have to cover the paper clip. So this way we can then attach this to any journal page without ever seeing a paper clip. I'll show you what that looks like later, but that's the concept, super easy. So I am just going to glue this on. Actually, wait, first, the inking. How can I forget the inking? Also this one. Okay, which glue do we use? That's always a question, right? don't actually want to use my art glitter glue that is just too expensive for something like this <laughs> maybe later for the collaging part but i don't want to use it for this part okay so i'm just going to use my tacky glue could also use a glue stick but tacky glue is or any kind of liquid glue i think is just going to be much faster and less messy i mean i do like glue stick as well but sometimes it's just so messy i have a feeling maybe that's just me though <laughs> now you might want to pay attention to the text of your book pages if you want them going in the same direction that might be good all right so we have this and we need to decorate well we don't need to but i think i want to decorate both sides so that both sides are pretty so hopefully this is now not too small for my flowers this should be okay, hopefully. Yeah. Might cut these off a bit. I think they're all pretty much the same size. 
Yeah, so I should have made them a bit bigger. I mean, the, the book page, not the clip art print. Obviously, you can always print printables at a smaller percentage. So when you print, just tell it not to print it 100%, but maybe 80% or 70% to have smaller images to play with. Okay, these are all a bit big. Maybe I'll just take this one and cut the bottom part off. That's okay. Let's re-ink that. I've inked up everything already in preparation. Yeah, that is cute. Let me zoom in a little bit. And then maybe we can use one of these awesome book spine parts. <laughs> maybe it's something like, whoops, something like this. I think these are just super fun to have. Yeah, I know you can hardly see it, but it's there. <laughs> okay, what else can we add? I think a butterfly or even a dragonfly is probably going to be a bit much since they are quite big. Let's try it. But I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, that's just too big. Maybe on the other side. What else can we add? Something yellow might work nicely. What about something like this? Here. Oh yeah, I do like that and I think that will do nicely. Okay, for this I'm gonna use my glitter glue just because the tip is much easier to work with. I think I'll add a word or something to that afterwards, but let's first do the other side. So maybe we can use this or actually, mm, do I want to put a bird on the other side? No, let's just use a dragonfly. Maybe one of these would fit. That's a cool one. Mm -hmm. I'm liking that. And will this work? Nope, maybe a smaller piece. Maybe one of these headbands that we just tore off. And don't know. Mm, maybe not. Now I just ruined the whole thing. <laughs> How is that? Like I think okay not the headband maybe something else maybe this tiny scrap it's too square you know what I mean like it's too too much straight lines because I have two rectangular elements maybe I should not do that maybe we can find a tiny scrap which is not rectangular Yep, I think that is better. I'll glue these top uh, down, top, bottom again. Otherwise, this is gonna drive me crazy. Have you tried this method? What did I just do? This is, oh no, no, no it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Have you tried this top down gluing method? Or is that something you've always been doing? I would love to hear your experience with it, if it's helping you, or if you just like, take a photo or something. Gluing is such a, you know, I've mentioned this before, it is such a, how should I say, it's like a science of its own, I have the feeling. Okay. Oh, they're both blue. I did not notice that, but that's good, actually. Let's see if I can find a word for this here. I have this sticker sheet here from your creative studio from a long time ago and there's still a lot here I have not used and I think these are perfect for something like this. What do we do? We could just do joy or fun. Now, how about the now? It's all about now. <laughs> Where do we put it? This one need one. This one has the paravion, so I don't know. Well, maybe something up here. Oh, you know what? Why don't we do something with travel since this is 
about mail traveling. <laughs> or is that too far-fetched? No, this is too small for me to ink up. I mean, it's kind of disappearing because it's on a book page, but then again, it is visible, it's okay. So let's see what this would look like in a journal. Maybe we can find a page in my fairy journal where we could add something like this. Not that this needs more embellishing, to be honest. <laughs> oh, there's a page here. So we could even, well, if I knew that I was gonna put it in sideways, I should have put the embellishment sideways, but it doesn't matter, just so you see. So you can very easily just then clip it onto your page and you have two beautiful collages there clipped on and of course you could clip something else under it don't really have anything now but we could just take i don't know something random and then you can just add that underneath how fun is that okay let's actually try it the way it's supposed to be from the top yep for example on this one and they clip on so easily and it just adds such a cute touch. Perfect. How fun. So let's make a few more, shall we? Maybe let's make some that are sideways and maybe a little bit bigger because obviously my printouts are bigger. Let me, let me try it before <laughs> I tear it. So this would work. I just need to tear a very thin strip here. And let's see how, yep, this will work. Oh, actually this is usually my top layer. Well, yeah, this is gonna be my top layer. So then the one for underneath will have to be bigger. It's probably best not to use your thinnest book pages. pages. I mean, this is quite thin, but I have ones that are even thinner, so don't want to use those. So now I just want to have a piece that is a little bigger than the other one in all directions, a little bigger. And I could even leave the straight edges there. That doesn't bother me, or does it? I don't know. I could also, maybe with a punch, have like a decorative edge no i don't think i want to do that but you could do that you could make a nice edge or could just take my kid scissors <laughs> and make this fun edge why not could do it on both but i think that's a bit overkill so i think that will do this is completely crooked but it's all right so I'm gonna ink these up and then we can start decorating. Okay, let's add the paper clip underneath. Again, we need to glue this down. Again, I'm just making sure that both of the texts are the same way up. We could add some lace as well, of course. Lots of things you could add. I wanna add a bird this time. Multiple birds, maybe. This one looks very autumnal, right? Maybe not so much for spring. How about him? He's nice and colorful, but too small. So let's add a flower as well. Maybe something yellow to make him pop. Okay, what else can we add underneath? Does it need more yellow? No, it does not. <laughs> What does it need? Does it need green, maybe? This green would be really nice. Oh, I have this beautiful Ex Libris card. Oh, this is gorgeous. Would this make a nice backdrop, maybe? Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. Yep, that is just perfect. Look at that. That's a winner. I'm going to glue this down. So that's done. And I don't think I'm even going to give this a word because it has Ex Libris here. I think this is just super cute. 
All right, let's do the other side. Maybe we'll just do a flower on this one. What is my biggest, biggest flower? They're all actually pretty much the same. <laughs> Maybe two flowers. Nah, that's kind of overkill. Let's have one flower be the star or one image. Oh, we could add a butterfly. Which butterfly might fit here? How about this one? I don't know, it's a bit big. Or like this, is that kind of strange? Or like this, what do you think? Like this? Or what did I have, like this? Hmm, I actually like it this way. Portions aren't quite right, right? <laughs> Do we care? No, we don't. <laughs> Is there anything in my tiny scraps that we can use? Oh, that color might work actually. Yes, that's really nice. What else? What else? Red, muted red. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I need something here. This one, this was an embossed piece gone wrong. <laughs> maybe a little piece of this. Okay, let me glue that down. We'll see if it needs anything else. We could add the word inspire to this. There. It's kind of an unusual color combination for me, but I'm really liking it. Actually, similar colors. Huh. <laughs> okay, we have two. Oh, I was going to make this sideways, wasn't I? Well, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> All right, sideways, Barbara, sideways. <laughs> you could just take one like this and you know it's all it's already folded for us not that that's a huge deal but you know <laughs> okay it is a bit wide or long but that's okay where's my other book page there we are all right so now oh i don't have one that's that long all right i'll just i'll just have to do it the other way around so again i want this more narrow than the other one might have to shorten the one underneath because it is quite there's quite a difference which doesn't really matter but then again it might look weird when we collage it i don't know let's have a look so obviously our font is gonna be one this way and one that one but that's that's totally fine yeah it's a bit too long i'll just tear this down a little bit that is better so let's add our paper clip i'll ink these up and then glue them down and then we can do some more decorating we could even add a piece of a snippet roll on top as well so i made this recently i didn't make a video because i figure you know by now how to make a snippet roll i don't know do you <laughs> all i did was i took a piece of masking tape uh, in this case a thin one and i just laid it out on my desk took my scraps just put them on one after the other layered on top of each other and then i went over it with a zigzag stitch with my sewing machine that's that's all that is and it is the perfect decoration for almost anything <laughs> so actually i'm just gonna do that i'm just gonna glue that on top that is super fun it is just so nice when you have some pieces ready to go i just love that it feels like such a bonus somehow <laughs> All right, I'm not going to glue it down yet because I'm not quite sure how I want it placed. Like, do I want it in the middle or 
or do I want it more towards the side? That will depend on what embellishment I use, I guess. So what shall we put on here? Should we just put a butterfly, maybe one of the bigger ones? Do another blue. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, that doesn't need much else, actually. That is beautiful. Don't have to over embellish everything, right? Having said that, I'm looking here what else I can add. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna just glue this down because then that's one decision made. <laughs> And I'm not quite putting it in the center. So the blizzard has stopped in the meantime. There's sun again. It's so crazy. It was yesterday. It was similar. It was like sunny snow, sunny snow. <laughs> the whole day it was such a gamble to go outside. And I had to go out twice. And I was always worried I was going to get caught in the snow. But I was lucky. <laughs> like we could just add him and a sentiment and, and, and be done with it. But then, see, I think these are now too small because... We don't have a lot going on here, so maybe I should look at my own sentiments to see if there's anything that might be a little bigger. How about just lucky? Oh, I like that. Yep, I'll do that. I'll link these black generic ones for you in the description box as well. They do come in handy. You could also... Of course, maybe put some foam tape underneath this little guy to make him stand out a bit more. But of course, you're adding more bulk than to your journal. Okay, that was super quick and I love the result. So what can we add here? Do we want to add a bird maybe? Should we stick with blue? Why do I have so many blues this time? I usually don't go for blue. He might work. Oh, we might do this black raven. He's pretty cool. He's like a badass of birds. <laughs> Aren't they one of... Actually, I don't know if this is a raven. Looks a bit... A bit different. I don't think he's a raven at all. What am I saying? But anyway, did you know that ravens... I think were one of the smartest animals existing. I still think he's kind of funky. So what else can we put under him? Maybe this is a good opportunity to add one of the tea labels. Anything else or do we leave it simple? <laughs> this is like the tiniest piece of leftover washi. One of my most favorite washies ever. I haven't reordered it. I should have. And this would be like the last scrap, I think. Oh, that makes me sad. But I'm using it, so that's good. It doesn't really pop out a lot, a lot but I know it's there. <laughs> Do we need like a pop of color? Maybe I see this honey yellow piece. Maybe he would benefit from that. If we just stick that under everything. Yes, it did need that. Once again, I will just glue these pieces. Down. As a final touch, we can add Be Brave. I think that really suits this badass bird paper clip. <laughs> I think this is my favorite one. Love it. And this one's really nice too. Oh, I again did it. I again did it vertically instead of horizontally. Look at that. My goodness, I have such a fish brain. <laughs> shall we shall we try this one more time? Can you can you please scream at me if I do that again? I had it I had it I was so focused on it. Even when I had this paper on, I thought, okay, okay, let's keep it this way. And once I put the snippet roll on it, I lost that thought. <laughs> Do this. So I'm again just gonna use the double page. That seemed to work quite well. This is such a great project if you are kind of intimidated to do collages in your journal. And just two small ones with a few pieces on these kind of embellishments because 
I think that's a lot less intimidating and quicker. You will feel very accomplished <laughs> after a very short time. And if you don't like them, you just put them in, uh, or you just you just don't put them in your book, right? That is very simple. Anything on a smaller scale, I think, is, is less intimidating. Okay, let's do the scalloped edge one more time with my scissors. You can also use your pinking shears to get a nice zigzag edge. That's fun too. Okay, so I'm gonna prepare this base again and I'll be Okay, we are working sideways. <laughs> and let's just attach this very fun experimental strip. Just going to fold that in half and glue that down. I'm gonna challenge myself to figure this out as I go along rather than first putting everything down and then gluing it at the end. What's the fun in that? I like a good challenge. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put this here randomly. We're still moving sideways, that's good. Okay, what colors are gonna work with this now? That is the question. Oh, he would be nice. He's actually quite perfect for these colors. And then there's this parrot. No, he's, he's awesome. I don't know about the other side. Maybe we should put him on this side. Hmm. I'm just afraid he's covering too much here unless I put him here. Oh, I could put him here. What else? He definitely needs something else in the background. I do have these fun little envelopes as well. These are also from my shop and they, they do actually function as real envelopes if you glue them together. They have little flaps on the, on the printout so you can easily glue them together. And I printed these out at 50%, so they are tiny. Usually they are not that tiny, but I, I'm, I'm taking them out because I think this color works quite well together. I just don't know if I can make that work. Oh, that's actually quite nice by his head. Yes, I do like that. What else? Mm, maybe something from here. I do like this color. Okay. Okay, I just glued it all down and I want to add a little tag that goes into the envelope. I have this mini tag punch. It's 1.5 inches. This is the company. I got it at a craft fair. I don't know where to get these. They are quite tiny. So I'm gonna take a scrap of a book page. Yeah, it will fit. I'm just gonna ink this up quickly and then I'm gonna stamp it. It's quite flimsy. I'm wondering, I should probably glue it onto something a little sturdier because that's gonna get ruined. I have this scrap which is a lot sturdier from another botanical book. I could just do this. Yep, that's much better. I'm just gonna ink around this back side as well. And I have this adorable stamp which came in my Sora Aksan stationery bento box from Japan. I think this will work perfectly. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Oh my goodness, I stamped it with my vintage photo. That was not the intention. <laughs> it's a bit faint. No, I'm gonna stamp over it with my jet black archival ink. Maybe I can stamp it so that the vintage photo impression will look like a shadow. I don't know how to do that, that precisely, but we'll just give it a shot. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, that's actually quite nice. Unexpected. Happy accident, right? Okay, let's put this in here. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> okay, now I need something on this side. Let's try another flower, although they are all a bit big. Let's see, maybe I can come up with something. This one here would be gorgeous, but it is big. Could I lean it? Oh, I could lean it over. Why not, right? 
that would work what else maybe it's a bit too wide i might need to add some tea stain over that which is definitely quicker than me trying to fussy cut this inner white part yes i like that better okay what else do we add maybe we can use some of our tiny scraps oh i like the oh the blue is beautiful in combination isn't it maybe we can make that work don't like this straight edge the color is perfect maybe another tea label i do like this so i'll just glue this down i think that's one of the cases where less is more I don't know yet where I'm going to be putting these two, but it's nice to have them on hand anyway. I've been making so many journals lately that, that it's nice, nice to just make some embellishments. And this needs a word for sure. How about found? That's jumping out at me. Yes. Yay, I managed a sideways spot. It just took me three times. I like this guy. I think I like these two the best. Let's have a look what an actual side paper clip will look like in the journal. <laughs> so we can either put it on a right page or a left page. Let's just... No, let's do this one with the cute bird. I love it. Let's put a tag in to see what that would look like. Yeah, adorable. Yes. So go make some. <laughs> I've shown you how. So your turn to play with these. I think they're super fun and I think I'm gonna be making some more Thank you for hanging out with me. Hope to see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you haven't, if you want to see more. I have lots more coming and please like this video if you enjoyed it. it helps my channel out a lot. So I hope to see you here in the next video. Love you guys. Mwah. Mwah.